four man smoke up from OG. They're just sort of under leveled right now. Yeah, but they're gonna catch no one. No one. He doesn't have a mech either. And there is just nothing Vega Squadron can do about this kind of overwhelming force. Samus Slayer's gonna try and respond. A three man hold from that Static Storm. Now the Fiend's grip on a moon makes sure oh, he's got you. Know. Right back into that Static Storm. OG, you're not escaping from this one. They're gonna chase down Fly. Glimpse back Miracle. And that's gonna be four. Was it worth it for the no one SF? I don't think so. Am I allowed to get hyped for that mag vacuum wall? Time and time <laughs> again. Beautiful. Oh my god. I don't actually think that OG knows that this is happening, but OG thinks that they can go smoke for their oh own God. Roshan. Mo Moon's gonna be in a perfect opportunity. He's gonna have that smoke pop. Oh Realizing no! Flicking. Three man slithering crush. Now the ultimate on top of Miracle. A good zone. Oh, the back in. No. The static storm with the ultimate are coming out from no one. Can they actually fight this one? They get the control on to no one. He's still not burned out just yet. But here comes Pacha Mishu coming in from the side. As no one dies, he might just be able to get the kill on Miracle. The Shadow Grave fades out. Solo now holding in Muno. No escape for him. As Pasha's gonna make sure that this Slardar does go down. Slithering crush. Maybe not. Can oh, get Pasha's ahead going of the down he gets burned out from his mana. No tell takes away that opportunity, and that's a wipe. It started out so good for OG, and it ended even better. Until the lasso's up and Roshan is low. Yeah, that top lane is starting to get pushed out a little it's bit. It's up but... now. No one's going to be initiated on and pulled right up into the cliff. Look, a miracle. He's actually intercepting the rest of Mag as they're going to be able to catch both Mag and Samus Slayer. Take him out. Well, no one's stuck on the cliff. They'll go for the rest of Vega Squadron. Solo, he's not getting away here. No one let loose the ultimate. The only thing he really can do while well, the Fiend's grip is placed on Miracle, but he will be able to escape from that one. No one. Eh, he's still going to try and right click down Moon, but there's nothing he can really do. The commitment here from Pasha is still not enough. OG playing so brilliantly around this cliff scenario. Pasha managed to doppelganger and TP away, but no one doesn't have the same kind of luck. He does not have a TP out of this scenario. Moon jumps in, pops back down, and now they'll finally get the kill without losing anybody. A brilliant setup there from OG. So it would have been well worth it for them to do that. And just taking a look at buybacks, the only one of real note is the Slardar. And this is going to make OG really hesitant to fight around this area. Yeah, this could be do or die, but they've already got the initiation on to no one without his BKB activated. Him. They bring him a little bit low. They're trying to go for Pasha at the same time. He actually gets pushed away. He's very low. No one is dropping lower and lower, but they really need to take him up. Miracle is being controlled by Feed Script. Now he's trying to get away with the Shadow Grave. Looks like he might just be able to get out the illusions and the heal. He's good enough, but Moon is going to be taken out. No one just keeps on marching forward, even at below half HP. He just doesn't seem to care. Now the buyback from Moon. They desperately need to be able to catch somebody here. Moon's going to make the initiation. Three man start to crush, but OG aren't there to be able to respond in time. They can't catch anybody further. Miracle just starts searching for it, but now Vega Squadron, they're actually going to turn it by Miracle. They may be able to take him out. Shao Grave keeps him alive. No one is going to be taken out soon. It looks like Miracle will barely survive. And Pasha, he's not getting out either. It's no tail catches up to him. The axes aren't quite enough, but they've got the amplified damage. Slithering crush and removes oh, the illusion. He's going to them too. He's got to blink up in five more seconds. Can Pasha actually get out of here? They get a slight no glimpse way. of vision. Pasha, doppelganger her up in one oh, more he second. the stun too. TP out. He's got the He's going to be able to get away. Pasha escapes. Vega Squadron barely keep their carry alive. Under They're ready in this area. Radiant they should have travels on everybody. Tier 2 is going to die to creeps, die. but oh, there's Vega no Squadron, travels on they keep on going. Oh no. Radiant's he TP's in, has to sell. The tier three already down, they're gonna catch. No one brings it back a long way. Snowtail's gonna be able to intercept the rest of Vega Squadron. Song up. No one's in the middle of nowhere, but he is gonna be able to get out with his BKB. Now let's lose the ultimate, and No Tail's actually gonna be going down. They still do not have their gyrocopter. He's not making it back here. Oh gee, they're what just happened? getting run over by just... Vega Squadron. He had a TP. What happened? Oh gee, they're losing so many. He's on the run, but it might just be too late. Vega Squadron might just be able to get a full set of Mega Creeps before the gyrocopter's here for the fight. This could have just cost them their chance. The upper bracket is Vega. They're just gonna go hard. They They've keep got on 5, going. Hundred gold on their carries. Here comes the Jar Copter. You better make a big initiation. He pops the BKB. Crit now comes forward, trying to distract the rest of Vega Squadron, but they don't have any stuns. Vega Squadron just dancing around the black and they will be able to take out the two supports. Soul does go down, but now no, it's no one. And Pasha turning the fight up against Miracle. They will be able to take him out still, but the Shadow Grave keeps him alive, and he still has the Aegis to be able to fight through. Pasha makes sure that he will lose that Aegis, but Vega Squadron, they don't need to fight anymore. They want it big. They took the top laner rags they've already taken the bottom melee rags they're in a great position just objectively all they have to do is back out and wait for uh revives it's a vega squadron they actually just want to go for the quick and easy range racks first but crit's actually going to make the initiation on a solo of all heroes moon tries to initiate on no one but he gets on the bkb in time now the lotus orb will help protect him it looks like solo's still going to go down fiend script only for a second as moon's able to take him out now the ultimate gets laid down from uh, oh, no one but no he's going to be taken out in silence so the static storm doesn't get anything he doesn't have a buyback either he's 
try and get Sam with the Slayer, but he's just going to be kited around as he gets four steps, one step ahead, and Slardar goes oh, down and has no either. buyback. Vega no was just stuck. They're going to be able to go in. We're still having Aegis, still having Cheese. A five versus three. This is an impossible scenario for OG to defend. They still have the Glyph available. Miracle doing whatever he can, but he doesn't have buyback. For He's going to take out this Aegis to start with. No one is going to be going down. While the melee racks is all that's left, Posh is trying to take that one out. While Miracle is at the bottom lane. He's being held in by the kinetic field. Starts backing himself back. Posh making more commitment towards that melee racks, but it's a it jump in from Miracle. Trying to fight up against no one. He will be able to win this second fight, or maybe not. Satanic keeping no one alive, but no. He finally does go down. Shell game get laid out. Posh is still not finished up this melee racks, but he is at pretty good HP. How can Miracle continue to fight this one. The Melee Rax is down out. It's going to be Mega Creeps. As OG, that's what they have to play against now. Oh, Moon! He gets caught by the Fiends group with all those Melee Creeps. He's just going to be taken out by uh, the Bane Solo, pretty much. But No Tail may still want to fight this one. They've got crit, they're gonna TP in. They wanna take this one out. They're gonna go ahead and control up Zola as well as Mag. They've got the refresher. Control up May let no one as well. But Miracle, he's stuck in the tree, he's four step him out. They finally get him in the fight, but perhaps it's too late. They've already lost all their Miracle control time. So now much one level is the ultimate miracle is taking out these heroes, but he's gonna start being kited around. He needs some additional help, especially with Pasha coming back to Glimpse back and he can't sword. lose the divine. He can't afford to lose the divine rape here. They get the stun out, but he's still not up. Miracle fighting for his life here. This turn but he can't do it. He goes down, loses the divine rape here. That was everything OG had and now Vega Squadron on the victory march straight through middle lane Radiance will middle be top. your second team in the top bracket Radiance from this group and they call top. GG no buyback they even leave the divine rapier behind they understand the position that they're in good Radiance game is called by OG and uh, what a surprise I mean props to OG just sticking it through to the very end with megas and everything still going for that big play and trying to catch somebody via the Buta travel TB onto the Hawk, but it was a very, very long shot to be able to come back into that game and Vega Squadron proved two times in a row